What's up guys, it's Paul from Boosted Films and in this video we're going to take a look at an EVO 8 throttle body and we're going to disassemble it, point out a few parts, clean it up and put some of it back together and I also have a question for you guys on a piece that I don't know what it's called. So first thing, we're just showing our throttle plate opening up. Obviously this throttle body is pretty dirty. It has over 200,000 miles on it. It's from my rusty Silver Evo build that I'm working on. So I just decided I would document uh, myself taking it apart and cleaning it up. So really this is not like a step-by-step -step how to is typical that I do with a lot of other things. Um, as I've probably mentioned before in the past, I'm usually mostly comfortable doing how-to videos on stuff I've done more than once. And I have never done this before, so this is really just me documenting the pieces um, and what I did with this throttle body. So we're going to point out some components here. This, of course, is our idle air control motor. This is our throttle position sensor. Over here, we basically got the throttle that the throttle cable connects to. We got two hoses that run coolant through them. And we we're opening up the throttle plate. Like That is the throttle plate inside there, the gasket. And that's most of the components. There is an adjustment screw and there's another piece uh, that helps, I believe, control the coolant flow a little bit as well that we'll touch on a little bit later. So these are the throttle body cleaning uh, instructions you would get from the manual. And basically, I believe these directions are more if you were trying to clean it with the throttle body still in the car, they don't want you directly spraying fluids onto the throttle body where it could get into your engine which is understandable um, i did a little bit of just spraying they mostly suggest that you just spray a cleaning solvent on a clean cloth and then wipe your components but again we'll touch on that a little bit more later and if you're only curious for the torque specs for some reason for these throttle body bolts the four bolts that hold the throttle body to the intake manifold they are 14 foot pounds so let's start removing all these components. This is the idle air control motor. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you've probably seen the one where I've already uh, shown how to remove this on the car. It's definitely a lot easier to do here when the throttle body is not on the car. But that idle air control motor, those can go bad uh, quite often if you're having idling issues. So I recommend you check out that video on swapping those out if you're interested in more information on that. Next thing we're going to do is just unbolt the throttle position sensor. So there are just two bolts holding that on. I don't remember for sure if they were 8 or 10 millimeter. I think they were only like 8 millimeter. Pretty small bolts. Also have a screwdriver head uh, where you could utilize that as well. But again, this was from a 200,000 mile car that had been uh, sitting for a while. So I was not going to try to utilize um, the screwdriver on that one. So once you do remove those two bolts, you should be able to remove your throttle position sensor. Mine uh, took a little bit of uh, finagling to get it loose. Um, it was kind of stuck in there a little bit. So I just gently tapped it uh, and got it to come free. You should also note that basically there are some kind of slots where that throttle position sensor bolts up in that plastic part. Um, that is because it is adjustable and uh, you can uh, make some changes with that basically. And I'll touch on that again a little bit later in the video as well. And next we're going to jump into this mystery component. I don't know what this is called. I honestly hope someone in this watching this video can tell me what this piece is um, actually all about. Uh, so this is just another uh, screenshot of the owner's manual and uh, showing a bit of information you might find useful and the components. And when they show all the components, they do not say anything about this particular piece. And as far as I can tell, it must control something with the coolant uh, passage. I think when the car is colder, this piece uh, that I'm gonna show in a second that pops out and it's kind of got this coily spring around it. Um, there's also two little half moon pieces that kind of just fell apart when it came through, came apart. Um, hopefully, I don't know, if you're messing with an Evo 8 throttle body, you won't have to touch this. I just kind of wanted to dive into everything. Uh, so I did uh, take this piece off. Uh, so I don't know what it's called. Please uh, let me know in the comments if you know what this piece is actually called. I will actually show a little bit more of this piece uh, later on in the video as well. But for now, we'll just keep continuing to disassemble uh, this throttle body. Next, I'm going to take the throttle body plate off just so I can clean it up pretty well. And there are two Phillips screws holding that throttle body plate on. It can uh, basically only go one way. Uh, there, There's little things protruding out and you can see uh, just pay attention to those so when you go to reassemble it that you're um, putting those protrusion protrusions back towards the out uh, outer part 
of uh, the throttle body here. So as you can see, that back plate of that throttle body is certainly pretty dirty, could be uh, cleaned up. So the next thing we're actually going to do is pull the throttle body shaft. And you may have heard of this, the throttle body shaft seals. They are a common boost leak spot. So when you do a boost leak test on your car, sometimes that's where the air will seep through. It's the seals that hold this throttle body shaft in place. Unfortunately, I didn't have new ones on hand uh, when I did this, so I can't, and I'm not at least showing you how to do it in this video. Maybe in a later video, I can show that. But at least this should give you an idea of where those seals are and how to get to them. So the first thing here is a snap ring that needs to come off. Uh, so you pull off this snap ring. You will need a snap ring pliers to get that tiny little snap ring off. And then you want to make sure you kind of pay attention to these uh, actually two kind of washers, spacers that go on. There's a plastic one and then kind of like this uh, copper uh, bronze looking one. Uh, the plastic one is the one that's the outside, the furthest most outside one. And that bronze one would go you know, on first when you were reassembling it, basically more towards the inside. So I'm just going to drop those washers out here. And you can see both of them in my hand. And basically now that throttle body shaft should pull out. Mine was a little bit sticky. Again, 200,000 miles hasn't been removed. Uh, so I did have to use a little bit of force to work it free. Um, and then you also want to pay attention to that spring, that, the spring in there and the way that goes through because you'll have to put that back together as well. It's pretty simple, um, but just something to make note of when you are pulling this apart. The kind of circle part where it circles around that I got the screwdriver on right there is where it goes to the throttle body uh, portion itself um, and the other side goes closer to that plastic portion where the throttle body cable would connect. So here you can see where that throttle body shaft comes through. And the seals that people change are actually still in the throttle body itself. They're not on the shaft. Uh, they're on either end of that throttle body. And I believe those seals need to be pressed out. Another good question for people watching this, since I haven't done it yet. If you've ever replaced the throttle body shaft seals on your Evo, uh, leave a comment. Let me know how it went. And let me know if you have to like press them in or if you just tap them in with a with like a socket or something. So now we're just showing some of the vacuum ports and also this adjustment uh, screw. This adjustment screw is known as a fixed speed adjusting screw or SAS. And you can kind of see here uh, where it goes through and where there's a little hole um, that it goes through uh, that it kind of controls, I believe, the amount of air that passes through that hole. So this is uh, basically just with a screwdriver. Uh, you're, you can spin this out if you want to remove it. You probably honestly won't have to touch this uh, if you're doing anything with your throttle body. And again, I just wanted to take everything out of this one. So I decided to uh, spin this free. And just so you're aware, it will just sit and spin. It will spin and spin and spin for quite a while. Um, so the way to actually get it out, uh, or the way I found uh, that worked best to get it out, was just to find a corresponding like Allen wrench or something of the proper size that you kind of sneak in through the back part and push out that screw uh, from behind. And there's a little bitty seal on that as well, a little O-ring. So those are basically all the components on the throttle body. Next thing I'm just basically showing is uh, I have some carb cleaner here. I'm going through and cleaning up all the components, just uh, lightly uh, trying to remove most of the grime that was built up on here, then spraying it down. Again, using uh, just some paper towel or whatever you have uh, to clean up. And again, you could reference that uh, screenshot that I had in the beginning from the owner's manual if you wanted to properly follow the owner's manual uh, directions and how they say to do it. Uh, as far as spraying like carb cleaner onto some paper toweling and then just kind of wiping things um, around. And I will say I have not used this throttle body yet. Uh, this is just a video breakdown of me taking it apart. So again, if you've done this in the past, let me know if everything worked well for you. They do say, I believe in the owner's manual as well, that you don't really want to get any um, brake clean. Uh, I would probably not use brake clean. I think it's a little bit more harsh. Um, on any of the seals or rubber pieces. I think that's why you kind of want to use carb cleaner. So just be mindful of some of the seals that are um, on this throttle body. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that spring in place and just start putting this throttle body uh, shaft back in place uh, before I forget how it goes together. So as you can see, that spring itself kind of has a spot where it protrudes through and you would attach that kind of where that plastic piece would go where the throttle body uh, connects. And uh, then you would watch for where that spring circles around uh, to connect to the throttle body itself. And then you should be able to gently push it in and then you should be able to find kind of the right location. Um, there are stoppers 
uh, on that spring. So you kind of want that spring to be loaded and to have pressure on it when it is closed because the default setting is to have your throttle body plate closed. And now, as I mentioned, you want to make sure you pay attention to those two little O-rings that came off and don't put them on the wrong way like I did here. No worries, I've fixed it since then. Um, but at the time of filming this, I just took it apart, cleaned it, put it back together and didn't bother checking my video and just was like, oh, I'm pretty sure it goes this way. But I was wrong. It may honestly work just fine this way. But again, put that bronze uh, copper one in first. And uh, then after that, put that white plastic seal on then put your snap ring back in place. That's the order you wanna do that. That's how it came out. So now that we got our throttle body plate all cleaned up, uh, we're just gonna put that back in place. Again, uh, basically those two little dots that are sticking out, those two little nipples, I guess, if that's the easier way to remember it, those uh, are sticking out uh, towards you know where you'd bolt on your upper intercooler pipe. So that's how you wanna bolt those in place. So there it is, all cleaned up. That is most of what I'm showing in this video as far as putting this all back together. Um, I bolted some other things on a little later off camera. And most of it is pretty self-explanatory. I think, you know, you really are just kind of bolting things in place. That idle uh, speed controller, that can really only go on one way. You can't, there's no way to put that on the wrong way. Uh, the bolts are not spaced out evenly, so that will only go on one direction. And I'm also putting up a screenshot here of uh, the owner's manual piece about the throttle position sensor uh, installation and how you can actually check voltage uh, to make sure it's in the right position and what you can actually do. Again, it, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it had kind of some slots in that throttle position sensor, uh, so you could turn it one way or the other. So there's a standard value voltage range on the screen uh, that you should be able to follow. Again, I've never actually done this yet, so I'm not trying to give you specific um, you know, details on how to do it, but uh, again, Evo community here, if you've done this, uh, please leave a comment, let me know how it works. And finally, this is right before I installed this other piece. Uh, again, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, just for reference on mine, that half moon piece, the two pieces that stick together were really pretty loose. They almost fell apart. They did fall apart, I guess, when I took it apart. But even putting it back together, um, I was a little nervous that they wouldn't stay together. Um, but I could tell that basically it wouldn't go in correctly into the throttle body itself if they weren't, uh, you know, still together. So I'm not concerned with anything on that really as far as it actually being right uh, I think it should still work the same way it did before if it was working before uh, so no concerns there but if you know what this is tell me what the heck it's called so that's about it for this video guys again I appreciate everybody watching uh, this was basically just kind of to get a visual of components so you could see you know what's in the Evo throttle body if you're looking for one and it's missing components you could uh, take a look and uh, just have something to reference so, as always, this is Paul from Boosted Films, saying thanks so much for watching.